up everybody welcome to this episode of breaking down the fights why are we breaking down ufc 264 conman mcgregor and dustin Poirier. let's get straight to it i tell you what you got to give credit where credit is due because you know what conor mcgregor did come in with a good game plan and if we saw him he was kicking dustin Poirier. exactly what i said prior to if you guys look at my last video i said conor's gonna have to switch up the game plan which let me know that that he saw the the Justin Gaethje fight with him because there was a breaking point. I was at that fight in Phoenix, and I remember seeing Dustin Poirier get kicked by Justin Gaethje, and I'm just like, man, I was like, I talked to Justin after that fight. I was like, dude, Justin, you almost broke that dude. Either way, Con uh, Connor did a good job, but I think the only problem with Connor also giving him some advice is he needs to become a better competitor than he is a fighter. What do I mean by that? A competitor is all about winning. A competitor is somebody that understands it, how to finish the race, how to finish those five rounds, because you're not gonna be able to knock everybody out, even though you do say it. Kind of like the same way he fought Nate Diaz. Anyways, he did. A, he, if he was to become a better competitor than he is, because he is a fighter, but he should be a better competitor. That's gonna be the difference in his fight. So it's a change of philosophy. It's just finding a way to win, you know. Anyhow. Dustin Poirier did a good job with the pressure. He was persistent. He was on him. The more you pressure Conor McGregor, he, he started pressuring him towards the end of round one. You know, the more the tide started changing. He used the grappling. He allowed Conor to go in for the choke to tire out his arms. And uh, just to pressure him on the ground and pound the elbows. All of that. I mean, he does a good job with that. But there's just one thing that I see with Dustin, and that's him not, you know, after he beat Conor McGregor, you know, they asked him, you know, what do you think about Charles Oliver? He's like, well, wasn't him? I'm going to kick him in the calf. That's not a good thing, man. You cannot be giving out your game plan away. You know, these dudes are going to plan for that now. And, and you're right. I think the calf kick, I think, I think everybody should use it. I think that calf kick alone will change the, it's, will change the whole sport if it's not happening right now. Um, because the legs are out there. You know, this is why Taekwondo, the way Taekwondo is, is the way it is. Because it's all like this. It's, it, it's pretty much a level of fencing. Anyhow, you got to be careful giving up those game plans away because a guy like Charles the Bronx has way better kicks than you, man. You may have better hands, but the dude comes from a gr great school and his kicks, his Muay Thai is a little bit better, man. So anyhow, that's my breakdown of UFC 264. I hope you guys liked it. The one and only King Triple C. Do you feel like the rivalry is over? Do you feel like... No, we are going to fight again, whether it's in the octagon or on the sidewalk. You don't say the stuff he said, you know? It, the things that he did say, especially it, afterwards, you're saying about your wife and, and that sort of nah, thing? Nah, that's... My wife's solid as a rock. I'm not worried about that. That's noise. He was saying that he was going to kill me. You don't say stuff like that, that he was going to murder me. You don't say stuff like that, you know? You don't say stuff about people's wives either, but I know that that's, you know... I know that's that's zero chance, uh, but there is a chance, you know, somebody could die, and you don't say that. You don't wish that on anybody, man.